part two with Anita. Check it out. She's got the van, Thank Anita. You. you are styling with this minivan. Yeah, this is a 2017 Toyota Sienna that uh, it's a upper end Sienna that my husband and I bought um, in 2020 and uh, wow, I've been traveling in it solo. Wow, let's check it out. Yes, please go back and watch the last video where you hear about um, Anita's solo journey, not by choice. What's in here, Anita? This looks like an L-shaped sofa area. So cozy. Yeah, thank you, Linda. I um, have redone this several times, but this works out really well because on a rainy day, you could actually have two people in here. Well, you sure can. I can see myself sitting there and having my coffee and you sitting on the sofa there. How is your bed made? The bed is a, a shelf unit, a display unit, and oh. then this is just two by twos mm -hmm. pounded together in a rectangle with four legs, and they're glued and screwed together, and I did those myself. Wow, you're innovative. And what's this rack? I've never seen that. Where did that come from? It, it was a display shelf from Pure One Imports. Okay. When they went out of business, they sold their uh, display shelves. And this will hold a lot of weight, <laughs> way wow. more than me. Wow, that's really snazzy the way you did that. I love it. I love it. And then I really am impressed. Like you've got like, it's like sofa cushions all the way around here. Yeah, those are a lot of stuff that I already had um, or that I picked up at thrift stores and stuff. And it's got my clothes and stuff in it. What do you the, have in the different bags? Um, these are clothes. This is just day hiking gear and stuff. Um, there's an extra blanket. This is just an Ikea pillowcase. Ooh. And I stuff extra blankets and clothes very good in the pillows mm -hmm. and then they can be used for pillows i have an extra pad um I like it's that. a lawn furniture pad but i used it to stop the draft from the door oh you're smart and then my window covers mm -hmm. are inside there mm -hmm. when during the day and mm -hmm. they go up at night um and then this is just an extra blanket because i came down from up north and was out running snowstorms. Yeah, where are you from? Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, and I really like that because that just reminds me of one of those uh, pillows. Yeah, a, a boaster mm -hmm. pillow. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is my dirty clothes. It's another pillowcase. Yes, and as, as you get more dirty clothes, it makes more of a pillow cushion. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. And I have a couple bulky sweaters that are sort of Oh, yeah. stepped in yeah, there. Yeah, cushion also. Wow. And I finally got a Vera Bradley bag and they're wonderful because you can lean against these yes, too. Yes, I love Vera Bradley. Yes. And it, it's got clothes and stuff in it. Um, then the seat, you can actually sit in it and then at night I transfer all that stuff over here and I have a bed that is fully made. I don't even have to go outside to, to get in it. No, and this can be, I mean, yeah, you're just like set up all day long. Yes, yes. and this is just a piece of uh, automotive carpet. This is a, a blow-up self-inflating mat inside a duvet cover. I put a couple wool blankets on it and then just a little uh, me Mexican throw. And where did you get this from? I got this from R.E.I. Um, I sort of have my library, my atlases and stuff okay. stored on top of my... Uh, and there's your turtle. So please go back and watch that last video. You will not want to miss that. It's very heartfelt and a great story to go along with the turtle. Something uh, good for all of us there. Slowing down. I have a Rotocast cooler that right now it just has food that doesn't require ice in it um, because I do very little ice on the road mm -hmm. okay and then my like I said my library is on top of it now but I can uh, store it I can use it 
to uh, do food and it also makes another bench to sit on. So. Very nice. And look at that view out your window today. Oh a man, it's beautiful. View. Wow. Yeah, and it's free. I have a little curtain that I can put across. Oh, I'm nice. gonna I like that. sew this to the top um, when I get back. Oh yeah. But that's cute. I like it. With you, the this is a just a uh, it's a shower curtain rod. Shower curtain rod. Good job. And Good then job. it's just stuck in the the grab handles. <laughs> that is great. So it's not permanent. There's no holes or anything drilled in this van. Oh wow, the no build build. And I know that you have on your list was it five or six things that you wanted to show us today out here? Yeah. yeah I'm ready for the five or six cool items. Okay. I have my uh, bathroom area. Oh. It's just the same. It doesn't look like a bathroom to me right there. It's the same folding bath toilet that yep. Linda has. These are the pee jars. Okay, the Nutella. Okay. And then I use horse bedding pellets. All right. In there and you have a little uh, bucket that you said you got at the free pile right yeah you put it, inside there it's inside there and then I just have one little bag lining it and it's waterproof and spill proof and easy to clean up if there's a problem yes I have a bag here that has an IKEA poncho that is my dressing tent and my uh, potty tent mm -hmm. Oh, so you put that on if you're going to go number one. If I don't have privacy. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. And uh, then all the extra bags and wet wipes and stuff are inside your, of here. And your pellets are in there. Awesome. And pellets are in there. Very cool. So okay. That's number one. Let's go to the back here. Okay. What have we got going on back here? In the back here, I have a, a camp kitchen. It's rotocast and it's mm. from, I think, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. They make them here in the U.S. And it has a stove and all my cook gear fits in here. Wow. That's and I can't, in here. I can take it out, but I was gifted. I had a bumper uh, cage thing mm -hmm. and it had a big Rubbermaid tub on it and it had a lot of the extra gear and I was gifted this beautiful truck box. Whoa, that is a beautiful gift. Yeah. Get out of the shadow here. Yeah, look at that. It ends up being a table. And the, the lift gate clears it. Are you serious? Boy, it sure doesn't look like it does. Yeah, it but it good. does. And then, so I have a whole new cooking surface outside if I'm camped someplace. So that just made this so great. And then I passed on my Harbor Freight bumper hitch thing to some people and it, it was a whole switch, but everything went to someone wow. that, that could use it. That's just how God works. Yes. And I've, you know what I love seeing here? What were you going to say? I, I just feel truly blessed that God takes care of you. Yes. He knows what you need before you even know. Um, Before we go on to that, I wanted to ask you, you had mentioned about this little table under here. So you do have something that can pull out if you want to. Yes. But you don't necessarily need to pull it out. No, I don't now because I have this. Oh, but before you had to pull it out? Yeah, I would have to pull it out and set up a kitchen off of this. and. Oh, because you didn't have a, the table because your Harbor Freight thing wasn't like a table. No, it was just an old Rubbermaid tub and it was too flexible, would oh, not hold gosh, weight. Yeah. Okay, all right. And yeah, what do you have going on here? Uh, for Christmas, um, my daughter and future son-in-law um, gave me hot water bottles. <gasps> I've never seen a hot water bottle like this. I hadn't either, and it's perfect for that drafty door. <laughs> oh, that's great. And so it, do you boil water, or what do you do? I boil water either in that kettle or on a backpacking stove and pour it in here. And, uh, and then it stays warm all night. Aren't and, you slick? And these things seal very well, so... Um, 
they don't leak, and then you can reuse that water. That's awesome, Anita. Well, I just love your little setup here and your solar panel. Um, was that something that that you bought or what? Actually, I have a power station, but I didn't had no way of charging it other than in the wall. And uh, someone had this. It was it's like a year old but it was not putting out 200 watts like they needed. So they got rigid panels and they gave this to someone else camped out here. And he gave it to me because I didn't need as many watts. Mm -hmm. So he put new ends on it to plug into my power station. And it was just a gift. Oh my gosh, the helpfulness of nomads out here in the desert, huh? Can't be beat. Yes, and so. All right, so we've got the we've got the. I love the two in one too because I did we mention that that's your end table too? Yeah. Yeah, that's just really really styling there. Flipping the lid over, and that's the potty, the collapsible potty that I have that I need to mention. And then you've got your camping area number two, and you've got uh, your hot water bottles. What great gifts! And then what do you have down here? That is a bear canister for backpacking. In certain national parks, you have to protect your food from bears mm -hmm. because a fed bear is a dead bear. And what did you just say? A fed bear is a dead bear. A fed bear is a dead bear, okay. Because if they learn they can get easy food from people, they're not gonna live long. Yeah, yeah. So um, I use it to store my emergency food. Okay. Uh, it's got freeze-dried food in there and stuff. So um, there's several weeks of food in there. Oh, that's fantastic. So, fantastic for power. I bought a Blue Eddy uh, AC 180. Um, it's way more than I need right now. Um, but I never only, know if you use the van or something. Yeah. And I did pick up from the free pile a little My Mini uh -huh. that'll boil water. Okay. So I don't have to use a flame inside my van. I see. If the weather's bad. So, you know. There's your Blue Eddy down there. Yes. All right, very good. That was the heaviest I could lift. <laughs> okay, and what about, what's this? Uh, this was a very cheap power station and it's very small. Okay, um, 20 volt here. Well, that's, yeah, what, do you know the power in this? Uh, I think it has 300 watt hours. All right. But it only has a 260, um, inverter okay so it can only go up to 260 watts but for charging a cell phone and stuff and i got that it was the display model at a costco for right around a hundred dollars oh fantastic but what do you use to charge the blue eddy with right now anything uh i'm using that solar panel or i have yep. to plug it into a wall because i can't use my uh dc because i don't have the connector yet I got set up with your tarp, another cooler, you've got your water here, you've got your lantern. Anita, what's this? Oh, those are lights that you can set out underneath your vehicle, they're motion sensor. I like them. At night, and these are just Harbor Freight. They would have an on-off, and they're fairly cheap. Oh, good, good. And so you can use them for rodent repellents. Rodent repellents, yes. And then I love your little teapot and your Coleman stove. And then that's awesome. Nice little setup with your mat over there. Just ready to um, sit down and enjoy the day, huh? Yes. Yes, let's see what's on the other side now. I I'll try not to keep you all day here. Power, power, gotta love the power. Woo. All right, so this is the mat that you had talked about for the uh, keeping the cold out. Yes, and then these are window shades. This is actually a mat from a piece of yard furniture, lawn furniture. Oh, very good, very good. And uh, you wanted to show us these, huh? Yeah, these are uh, side roads awning. The side road is smaller, and then this bigger one is for that big fan, but I brought it to set it up. These make, they connect to your vehicle and give you uh, shade. Oh, yes, yes. And they're very wind resistant. Wow, very nice. Um, so um, you can set these up and it just gives you an area outside the rain. Mm -hmm. 
that you can uh, use for outdoor space. Okay. And shade. And is there a reason why you don't have one set up right now? Um, we had just gone to a national park and just got back and we're leaving here day after tomorrow. So. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So Where are you going? I'm going to head south mm -hmm. and check out some more of Arizona, probably Yuma area. And then I'm probably going to head up to Death Valley the other direction. Okay before I head back home. Yeah, and then get those national parks knocked, knocked down this year too. A huh? few up, few more of them knocked down before I head back home and, and uh, check in with my mom. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, checking in with your mom. Yeah, more of the story from the last, look at that view, I'm sorry. I'm distracted like a squirrel with that view. Oh, that's this fantastic. is beautiful out here. And Anita, what do you have up front? I see there's a lot of, uh, lot of stuff up there, but anything in particular that you wanted to show us up front here? Yeah, I have a little basket, and in this basket, it's got a easy to carry cook set, a backpacker stove. Oh, all right. And some because you were cutting. a backpacker for how many years? Oh, uh, I'm still sort of a backpacker. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I started in the '70s. Oh, wonderful! And uh, underneath there is is the some stuff. This is the stove top and the fuel canister is someplace else. All right, okay. And then in the center, you have a nice little catch-all basket. What do you keep in there? Uh, right now, that is an assorted junk <laughs> drawer. All right. Well, Everybody has one. That's right, we have a junk drawer. Uh, so. Well, Anita, this has been really, really made special. a very cool list of some like really power points, some, some nuggets for life on the, life on the road and, and doing this lifestyle. So. Would you share those with us in closing? And I know you said you had seven. I love the number seven. That's very biblical. And uh, just really appreciate everything that you've had to offer us, both in your personal story, your, um, your journey with grief uh, over the course of the last year in the last video, and now how you're making it in a minivan by choice. Number one, go with what you have. Number two, Use what you already have. Number three, learn and improve as you go. Number four, practice tread lightly and leave no trace, which you can look up online. Attitude is everything. This is number five. Be positive, be grateful. You are stronger than you, and smarter and more talented than you think. Pitch in where you can and make life better for someone else. Number six, accept help when you need it. And number seven, know when you need to seek out help. Anita, wow, I just love it, just love it. Anything else in closing that, that we missed or that you wanted to share today? I think we pretty well covered everything. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, um, Blessings in your journey and joy. In your journey. In your journey. Yes. Blessings in your day and joy in your journey. You got it, girl. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I just love to share that with everybody. Yes. You have been quite the blessing to all of us today and in the last video where you shared a very hard and heartfelt story. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for who you are and 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 just kudos to you Anita on how far you've come. I know journey uh, a, a, a journey of healing is not a sprint. No, it's <laughs> it's like the little turtle that you shared with us. And um, and God is with you. Thank you, Linda, and thank you for filming this. Oh, you're welcome. We'll see you on down the road. See you down the road.